in my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mix Media, we challenge ourselves weekly with the spin of a wheel to produce mixed media items that we must use. I'm a bit behind. So this is for the 61821 spin. I've had my grandkids for three weeks, so I'm sure you all understand how that can put us a bit behind. The concept of the weekly spin is each spin of the wheel produces a mixed media item. All three of those mixed media items must be utilized within a project that we choose to complete during the week. So let's let spin Cindy spin. Hi there, it's Cindy and I'm here to draw for our weekly wheel challenge for June the 18th. Our first item will be paint. And our second item will be a coffee filter or tea bag. And our third item will be Alcohol. I can't wait to see what you come up with for those three items. Paper, no, paint, coffee filter, and alcohol. My name again is Peg, my channel, Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. Join us in these weekly spins, and that notification bell lets you know when an additional piece of content is uploaded from my channel. I have decided in these weekly spins that I will be producing from this time forward artist trading cards or artist trading coins. So I have some watercolor paper here that I am utilizing and just cutting down to that two and a half by three inch size. And I will utilize a couple of those to catch up today. And I will set the rest of those aside in my little journal here for use in the future. Today's spin, the tea bag, alcohol, and uh, paint. So let's start with getting some background laid down with the alcohol ink. Now the alcohol inks that I own are old. They've been around for years. I can no longer see or they never had the name of the color on the bottle. So I'm not exactly sure what colors I'm utilizing. I just picked some that I felt were in the pink and red families to utilize with this tea bag. The tea bag that I'm using came from a hibiscus tea. So there's a little bit of pink that the tea leaves have dyed on that tea bag. So that's why I have chosen the colors that I'm utilizing here. In that spray bottle, it's just plain isopropyl alcohol. And I am spraying that on the inks to liquefy them a bit more. Um, they've puddled a little bit here on the card, so I'm utilizing the baby wipe just to dry that off and just kind of blend in those colors for my background. I'm tearing this tea bag in half and placing it on a portion of this card and just mod podging it down or gluing it down with a combination of glue, PVA glue, and water or just good old Elmer's glue and water combination. I make all of my own supplies and I'll link that above. I just hit it with my heating tool to dry it a bit and I'm trimming off the edges. And now this leftover piece of tea bag, I think I'm fold, going to fold this and see what, what that produces. And I'm gluing and folding, gluing and folding. And I've decided this looks a bit like a tea bag. I wasn't really going there when I started, but as I completed, that's what came into mind for me. So I'm going with that. So we'll just fold that top over and we'll glue this down. I'm going to grab some embroidery thread to use as the, the little uh, string. And this toilet paper roll will be a good substrate for me to cut the top or the tag on that tea bag that I'm creating. So I've just cut that down into a little square and angled off the top corners. 
going to look for my my stamps here and just stamp a T on the top of that tea bag. Now, now notice that piece of embroidery thread that I've cut and laid to the side. That disappears somewhere. Ah, it may be underneath my, my uh, stamps there. And then when I put my stamps away, I probably brush it off onto the floor. But but let's, let's yeah, there it goes. So I am going to cut another piece. I'm going to glue this down. Well, stick this embroidery thread and cut it once again. Now that we've solved the mystery of where the other one went. And we'll put that little T tag at the top. And there you go. And now for the paint. So I have this stencil that just arrived in the mail from Stencil Girls monthly subscription. And I'm going to utilize that on this edge in a raw umber. So I'm using the Liquitex raw umber paint just to give darken up that pink color. And there. I think that looks good, and we'll go around the outside edges and just frame that in with that raw umber as well. There. I think that completes the front. So now for the back, I want to remove the pink. So I'm going to hit this completely with the raw umber. Once I get that covered, I'm going to allow that to dry and come back with that same stencil in a titanium white. I lost the footage of the stenciling the back, but I don't think that's complicated. And once you see the finished result, you'll understand exactly what I did. I have handwritten what that weekly challenge is, and I'm going to plop that onto the back as well. So when I display these, I can go back and see exactly what I was trying to accomplish during that week, what week it was, etc. And I'll share with you soon how I'm going to display those in my studio. And this is the completed project. Thank you for joining me. Once again, to Old Crow Cynix Media, I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I've put the playlist for these additional weekly challenges up above if you want to go back and catch up with what we've been up to. Of course, come on over and join us in the Facebook group. would love to have you there as well. Any comments are always appreciated. Bye for now.